morning, friends. Welcome to Living It Country. Today, we have another beautiful farmhouse styled home tour for the fall 2021 season. And I'm so excited to have Jessica here from Something Blue Farmhouse on Instagram. She is sharing her beautiful home for this season. I am so excited to have her here today. She is amazing at home styling and decorating her home. So you guys are gonna get lots of inspiration. Make sure you guys check her out in the description box down below and let's go tour her home today. Hey everyone, I'm Jessica and I cannot wait to show you around my home, what we affectionately call around here, the Something Blue Farmhouse. Welcome. To get a better idea of all the things that we've done to our home, here are some pictures from the listing of our house when we bought it seven years ago. We live on one acre, which is perfect for our family of six. I think I need to give myself a lot of credit here because this is what our house looked like when we moved in. Lots of brown. The only thing that comes to mind is a certain emoji, and I think you know which one I'm talking about. Well, really dark and dreary, especially for the Pacific Northwest, I knew that this house had some good bones. So without further ado, here it is. One thing you're gonna learn about me real quick is I love brightness. I love colors and I love a good farmhouse that's white and black. Here we go. Welcome in everybody. When you enter our home, there's a really long room to the left. It was kind of hard to figure out what to do with it, but we've basically split it up into two areas and the front usually has all my kids stuff just thrown. Backpacks, shoes, you name it. Here is our front entry. We did all the shiplap work. This is the door that was there when we bought it. I hope eventually to replace it one day, but for now, because of funds, We'll go ahead and take it. Here is our stairs and my beautiful children lining the walls as you go upstairs. To the right, here is our formal dining room. And boy, do I love mixing it up and decorating in here. I kind of think it's my canvas or maybe my office. <laughs> I absolutely love playing around with tablescapes. For every holiday, every theme that you can imagine, it's so much fun. We recently installed this shiplap. I am so thrilled with the color I chose. I think for fall, which is right now, it's gonna be so warm and cozy. And then when spring and summer hit, I think really light and airy. This painting I have here hanging on my wall is very special to me. It was painted by my grandmother and I have definitely added some of her taste and decor throughout my home. It's very important to me to decorate my home with a story behind it. I am passionate that when I am decorating other people's homes that together we pull out the story. I especially love working with vintage items. My favorite thing to do is go to flea markets, garage sales, thrift stores, and absolutely vintage markets. I definitely consider it a true hobby of mine to go treasure hunting. Here we are coming back to that weird space. But you know what? I've made it look beautiful. This is another piece that I collected from my grandma after she passed away. Some might think that the pattern's a little outdated, but I couldn't be more proud of it in my little farmhouse cottage. This is my favorite piece in our whole house. Do you wanna know what's hidden in there? Yep, you guessed it. It's full of shoes. Now we enter our living room. I love this gold mirror. And yes, I check myself before I leave the house every day in it. See that cute pink dresser over there? I bet you can't guess what's inside. Yep, more shoes. And no, they're not all mine. 
Do you remember the picture I posted earlier of how this fireplace used to look? It was so dark, but we decided to paint the river rock instead of replacing it. And I am so happy with it. Yep, I know, they look like big fluffy marshmallows. Good enough to eat. While you guys are looking around, this is a great time to let you know that I have an Instagram. It's called Something Blue Farmhouse. I wonder where I came up with that handle. I would love for you to join me over there as we have projects for my own home that will be coming up in the future and other inspiration, all things home decor and styling. Our kitchen is one project that we will probably do someday down the road. So far, we have painted the tile and the cupboards, my favorite color, blue. Speaking of blue, I recently painted this hutch. Again, it was from my grandmother's home. I kept the etch glass, but I decided that it just had to be blue in my home, especially with all my blue and white dishes that I also received from her. cannot get enough of this space. I love the fire on, a candle burning, and a good book in hand. Oh, and a good cozy throw. Coming up here on the left, we are gonna be going into our guest bathroom, which is by far my most favorite room in the whole house. Here's why. Ah, <sighs> so gorgeous. We redid this bathroom um, about a year ago and we put our blood, sweat, and tears into it. I picked out all the fixtures and I get so many compliments on that wallpaper. And my vintage finds the pictures off of Facebook Marketplace. Again, be sure to follow me on Instagram for pictures of this space. I hope you've enjoyed seeing our first floor in our home. We have a lot of projects coming up for our second floor. So I guess you'll just have to check back soon. So here's a recap of everything we've covered so far. you've seen the interior of our home here's the exterior when it's not a cloudy day we have a great view of the Puget Sound welcome to our backyard as you can see from the original picture we've done a lot around here
Here is a quick tablescape I did in preparation for my kids coming home for a little snack. Apple cider and a little tiny charcuterie board. Okay, and this is the grand finale. My husband and my father-in-law, with the help of me, and some help of even my kids, we built this last summer. And we are so proud of this pavilion, I cannot even express to you. The detail on this pavilion is nothing short of amazing and so completely artistic. I'm really proud of my husband. This side of the pavilion is the future home of a nice, grand fireplace. Sometime you all will have to come over and enjoy a nice summer night or a fall evening out with us. as they say in Hollywood, that's a wrap. Thank you so much for joining me at my home and a special thank you to Holly at Living It Country. Bye. A big thank you to Jessica for opening up her stunning home and sharing it with us here today. I hope you guys got a few new ideas that you can implement in your home and I will see you guys in tomorrow's home tour. Bye.